What's up guys, Matt Toyser here, Leads for Locals and the Seven Figure Annuity Agent Program. Happy 2020, this is my first video of 2020, so I'm super excited. I am going to be talking about uh, our LinkedIn, lead, my LinkedIn lead generation system that I've been working on and testing for generating more annuity leads for annuity agents, IULs, all that. And now technically we could use this in any niche. I'm, I also use this in the business loan niche as well. So generating business loan leads for business loan brokers. So, you know, any type of B2B service that you offer can be used for this. Uh, those are just the, the niches that I use them in right now. But the process is the same. So I wanted to walk you through, just give you guys like a 30,000 foot overview of how this system works. And there's really five steps to it. Uh, I did this with Facebook, my Facebook lead generation system, and I got really good feedback on it. So I figured I'd do it for the LinkedIn system that we're working on right now, too. So the, there's really five steps five main state uh, main steps that we can break down the first is one of the most important is picking a niche so the very first thing that we do is decide what niche that you want to target because what i find that uh, a lot of business owners do is they try to sell their shit to everybody and that just doesn't work uh, you can do that but you're not going to make nearly as much money as if uh, you, when you pick a niche and you become the expert in that niche and you dominate it, right? So we pick one niche and dominate it. Now you're not married to it. You don't have to stay with that niche forever, but I'm going to tell you this, there's plenty of business to, to be had and you're going to make so much more money selling your service by picking one niche. And then, you know, let's say 12 months goes by and you've, you've gone through, you've just completely dominated that niche. And let's say you run out of people to reach out to on LinkedIn, which, likely wouldn't happen but let's just say that it did or maybe you just don't like the people you're working with uh, or the clients then we just pick a different niche but you have to pick a niche first and and focus on just that otherwise this doesn't work nearly as good so you want to become the go-to person in your industry that's why whenever i enter a new niche uh like the like the annuity industry where i'm generating leads specifically for annuity agents uh it, it works so much better because everything I do speaks directly to annuity agents uh, for that particular service, right? So it's really, really powerful. They see you as a kind of the expert uh, in that particular industry, right? So it's very powerful. So we pick the niche. That's the first step. The profile is next. And really everything else after the niche, uh, everything else kind of follows after the niche because it's everything we do from there is designed around that particular industry and, and uh, our messaging for it, right? So the next step is we optimize the profile. Now the profile on LinkedIn is really, really important. You wanna treat it like a, a, like a landing page and you wanna have it speak directly to your target audience. So it needs to be like, if you go to my profile, for example, um, you, it, it speaks directly to annuity agents. And so it says exactly what I do and who I do it for. There's absolutely no question, <clears throat> pardon me, there's absolutely no question about what I do when you go to my LinkedIn profile. And this is really important because people aren't just on LinkedIn having conversations. They, they and well, I guess they, they technically are, they're there for business and networking, but my point is, is that they want to make sure that they're having conversations with legitimate people who can actually help them. And if they visit your profile, which most people will visit your profile before responding to a connection request or uh, a message that you sent them. They're going to view your profile first to see if you're legitimate and then go from there. So if you've got, if you have a crappy profile, uh, you know, the, it, 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 it'll scare people away, right? You're not going to generate nearly as many leads. So uh, there's a couple of things that go into your profile. Obviously we optimize it for your niche. So go check out my profile. I think it's linkedin.com slash in slash leads for locals and you'll use mine as inspiration. It's, uh, it's it works really well. It also it kind of as a side note, um, you eventually, especially if you start like posting content or whatnot, you you start to uh, show up on search results. Like if people are looking for a particular service and you have that service in that particular industry, uh, blast it all throughout your profile, you start showing up on search results and you get organic reach. Uh, I've, uh, I've been able to get a few clients that way as well. So the, that's kind of just kind of a side note, but we optimize your profile for your niche. So it speaks directly to that industry, uh, directly to your target market. And there's four main parts to the profile. Uh, there's the banner photo, the profile picture, the headline, and the description, the banner photo, 
should it's like it's one of the first things that people see once they get onto your profile because it, it takes up so much space above the fold so you want to make sure that your banner photo again speaks directly to your audience on what you do and who you do it for okay and and just make it cool looking like it does don't, don't over complicate it but you know it, it needs to stand out a little bit and be very specific about what you what you do profile pick again don't over complicate it but like if you go to mine i actually you know it's it's different i'm not in a suit and tie like, like everybody else on linkedin and i'm not saying you don't you shouldn't wear a, a suit and tie or, or whatever wear what you are comfortable with and what kind of you know think about your industry if your industry is a a really really professional one you know you might want to suit up a little bit and uh if not if it's a little bit more relaxed i guess uh, I, don't, I don't know um then then don't but uh for me my profile picture it, it i'm just really comfortable with with that uh i, I guess the way i dress uh, the way i the way i present myself it's not even like how i dress how i present myself right for me it looks like i i'm i'm really serious about what i do i'm confident in what i do and then I put a little filter on it too, uh, so that it's not like, um, like if I were to take a snapshot right here with like colored stuff, I, I put like a gray background, uh, like a gray filter over it. And it just makes it stand out a little bit so that when people are scrolling through their conversation list, their messages list, uh, you know, you, you can stand out a little bit more. So that's really important. Headline should, uh, there's a formula that, that you can follow. It's basically, I help blank so let me pull up mine you know what the heck with it it's probably better if i just pull up my profile here and walk you guys through this because there's a formula that i use for for uh, for headlines like this and it's basically i help blank so i help annuity agents do this by this so i help annuity agents solve this problem by providing this solution right that's kind of the the formula that, that you want to follow. So I help annuity agents generate this many high quality annuity leads every month using LinkedIn, something like that, right? That, uh, again, it's uh, one, it helps rank in, in searches, right? So people find me, you see it. So people view my profile, 98, not a ton, but you know, on LinkedIn, it, you know, the, the quality of leads is a lot higher on LinkedIn because people expect to do business and network. So, there's, there could be some really good deals in just a few uh, profile views. So keep that in mind. So again, just speaking directly to our industry and what we do for them. Okay. And then the description, I'm not going to go through my whole entire description, but basically it's, again, it's, it's, it's uh, expanding into and just providing more details about what I do, but also the pain points that my target audience is experiencing. You know, what are the typical issues and challenges that people are experiencing when it comes to one their industry but also when it comes to the service you provide so i provide lead generation services what are some really big pain points involved with generating leads well people typically don't like cold calling they don't typically like doing dinner parties and events and networking and all that stuff so if i can provide an automated system for bringing in leads and they don't have to do any of that anymore that's that's uh, that's pretty good so anyways that's the profile. Next is the list. So we're going to be using Sales Navigator to build our list. And Sales Navigator is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't used it before, uh, it's only uh, you get a 30 day free trial and it's only 80 bucks a month and you get super, super, super targeted on who you're connecting with. So if you are, let's say you decide to target, uh, let's say you're you're in the business loan niche and you decide to target restaurants, or let's say you're in the annuity uh, business, you're selling annuity leads and, or not, not, not annuity leads, but you're selling annuities and IULs and things like that. Let's say you wanna target just doctors, right? You can go into Sales Navigator and start to build a very, very specific avatar of who you're reaching out to. And this is going to, this is a big part of actually generating conversations is making sure you're reaching the right people. Sales Navigator allows us to do that. In Sales Navigator, we can use things like keywords. So for example, in my business right now, I run a campaign where I'm targeting a new agent. So in the keyword area, basically what that does is it searches the profiles for these keywords. So if I put in annuity agents, annuity specialists, uh, annuity sales, things like that, those types of keywords, uh, as if they're in somebody's profile, it's going to put them in my search. Now I can also 
uh, I can also start to get a little bit more uh, obviously narrowed down, which is what we want to do. We don't want to just do keywords. We can do titles. So if they're uh, a CEO, the owner, the founder, principal, uh, president, whatever it is, we can put those titles in here. Geography, you know, it goes without saying, you know, if you're United States, UK, whatever, you can choose by industry. Industry is a little bit more broad. I'll typically only do that if I really need to start, like if I need to put another filter in to narrow down my search, I'll do that. Uh, or if uh, there is a very specific industry that is available uh, for search on Sales Navigator, that works really well. So like if you're going after restaurant owners, there's an industry option where you can choose restaurants, or I think there's one that's food and beverage as well. So that can work really well. Company count is really, uh, can be really powerful. Uh, the, the, the great thing about uh, company counts, like if you're going after business owners, for example, if, and, and you want people that are making more revenue, right? Who might be a little bit more qualified or, or higher ticket deals for what you're selling. Company count can work really good because if they're the president of this particular company and it has, let's say a hundred employees, they're probably making decent money, right? So if you go in offering a, a business loan or an annuity or whatever, they, they, they probably make a decent revenue and they probably have a decent amount of assets that they can uh, invest in, in with your services, right? So this can work really well for getting people that have more revenue and more assets. And then groups. Groups, uh, you know, I only use sometimes. Again, it's one of those things that's not required, but if I'm really trying to, uh, if like my if my search volume is is massive, like millions of people, I'll add groups to bring it down because typically people are only part of groups if they're more active on LinkedIn. So this is a good way of maybe getting people who are a bit more active, more likely to see your message, uh, maybe more likely to respond, things like that. So that's typically what I use groups for. So that's our list. From there, once we have our list, uh, that's basically when we start sending out, uh, we craft our messaging, right? So we want a non-salesy approach. We want a conversation based. I can't tell you how many like messages I get of people just trying to pitch me stuff. And it's just, it's really, really annoying. So you, you want to try to take a non-salesy approach and, and you know, what, what would you, what kind of conversation if you were at a networking event, you know, think of LinkedIn as one big giant networking event that you're at. How would you go up to somebody and introduce yourself uh, or start a conversation, right? Now, if you're the type that goes up and like, hey, hey, my name is Matt. I do this. I do this. I do this. And uh, hey, do you want to book a call? Maybe we should get coffee. Blah, blah. You know, you're just like you're you're very aggressive. That's probably not going to work. But typically people don't do that at live networking events. You go up, introduce yourself. Like, uh, you know, hey, I, who do you know here? Or what are you here for? What are you trying to accomplish? What kind of projects are you working on? Maybe uh, a really good message that I uh, that we worked on for a buddy of mine. Uh, he does uh, direct sales and network marketing is we, we seek people. We're looking for people who are seeking opportunities. You can do that uh, on your LinkedIn search. It's really powerful. And we basically, we just reach out and say, hey, I, you know, I, I noticed that uh, you were looking for a new opportunity. Thought it made sense that we connected. I just want to introduce myself and uh, would love to learn about what it is that you're looking for so that, you know, maybe I can help you. Maybe I can introduce you somebody to my network or in my network. And, uh, you know, we, we go from there. So we'd, we'd love to connect with you. Uh, what kind of projects are you working on? What are you looking for? Right. So very, very conversation based. I'm not, we're not like, like, you know, Hey, I saw you're seeking a new opportunity. Well, check out, check out my business page. Like, this is just look, check out this amazing business opportunity that we have. It has all this, this, and this, you're going to make a million bucks in 30 days and all that shit. Right. We're not doing any of that. We're, we're just starting a conversation and that, and then wherever, whatever, however they respond, you know, that's going to help us steer that conversation, whatever direction we need it to. Right. So there's a couple things you can do. Uh, I like inviting people to a LinkedIn group. Uh, they can be really powerful because you control uh, uh, the basic, you control who's in the group, what's being posted, things like that. And there's typically a, a decent amount of engagement on, in groups as long as, you know, there's really good content and, and, and it's useful to them. But this is a, inviting people to your group is another way that it's just kind of like another communication channel, taking them from one one conversation uh, or one channel of communication to another so now you can message them and you can you can contact them and be in front of stay in front of them inside the group as well it's a great place to to put content and and really show off your expertise ask if they want a free guide 
I, you know, so I typically, so I have free content that I like to send people, but I ask them if they want it. Like we used to, and we just weren't getting as good of a response. We used to, uh, when we were sending out messages, we would just be like, Hey, you know, thanks for connecting as a thank you, uh, you know, for all my new connections in this particular industry. I like to send just a free guide that I wrote. It's called, you know, whatever it is. And uh, here it is. If, if you'd like to check it out, it's up to you. And then we, you know, we'd ask a question to start the conversation, but it just looks a little spammy because when you put a link in the message, it, it populates like a preview of the page. And it's just, I don't know about you, but when I get stuff like that, I, you know, I was looking at them like, man, this looks kind of spammy. It looks salesy uh, and I don't really like it. So we weren't getting as good of responses from that. So I ask. I, uh, now we would ask like, Hey, you know, uh, as a thank you, I have this free guide, you know, that I wrote for people in this particular industry. And I've got some really good feedback on it. People have told me it's really useful. Uh, I can send it to you if you'd like, uh, is that something you'd like to check out and, you know, continue from there, uh, ask what projects they're working on. That tends to work. That tends to what I'm seeing is that, that, that tends to start uh, the conversation pretty well. And from there, uh, we set up the automation, right? So all of this, well, basically these two steps are kind of tied together because the messaging is, is the automated part. So we send automatic connection requests and follow up messages until people respond. Right now, we send uh, around 2000 connection requests per month uh, on complete autopilot and it's personalized, got the first name and, you know, we're taking that non-salesy approach to try and get them uh, to, to get them as a connection request. And then from there, our system automatically sends follow-up messages once they accept the connection request until they respond. So this takes out a lot of the manual labor involved in LinkedIn. Uh, a lot of business owners that I've, I've talked to do use LinkedIn, just not very consistently because it's, there's so much manual labor involved in not, not only you know, connecting with people, that's kind of the easy part, but how do you stay in touch with them or stay in front of them until they respond and actually start the conversation, right? So we now have uh, a system that automatically does it very safely. Uh, you know, 2000 a month is actually not too bad. So it's not, you know, we're not getting flagged by LinkedIn or anything like that for doing some shady stuff um, because there's some software out there that automates the process, but they'll send us thousands and thousands and thousands of connection requests and things like that. And it's just, it's, it's spammy, right? So it's very safe and it takes a, so basically what this does, the automation basically makes sure that the only time you're involved in the process or where you start is when somebody responds. Now that response isn't always going to make them a lead or a client, but you know, getting a response that gives you the opportunity to come in and steer it, the conversation in a direction to where they do become a client, you know, whether that's getting on the phone, doing a presentation, meeting a person, whatever it is, right? So it basically takes out 90% of the work, uh, upfront work on, on your end. So it's super powerful. So that's basically it guys. That is the LinkedIn lead gen system that uh, I am developing and shifting from Facebook. We are still going to be doing Facebook ads eventually. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced where we basically take all of our brand new connections so it's really powerful. Whenever somebody accepts our connection request, we can now put them into a Facebook custom audience and start running ads just to our uh, accepted connections. So let's say that maybe they're not responding or even let's say that they, that they are having a conversation, but maybe they're like a little iffy or whatnot. When they start seeing you on Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, whatever, wherever it is that we're doing that, that it just it, it creates ma even more authority, just massive authority. Because I mean, how many people do you think are really doing that in your industry? Like you, you accept a connection request and then all of a sudden you start seeing the business everywhere, or you start seeing that person's face on, on the internet everywhere. Like that's, that's really, really powerful stuff. So a little bit more advanced. We'll do another video on that once we, uh, once I have some metrics to work with and I've played around with it a bit, uh, but I hope this uh, was helpful. Leave me, uh, give me a thumbs up if it was, I appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in, uh, if you want to bring in more annuity leads or, or, or IUL leads, whatever, uh, high ticket deals for your business using LinkedIn and you want an automated way of, of generating your leads, um, I'll have a link or a button somewhere below. You can get in touch. Uh, I'll have you, you know, just answer a few questions about your business, book a call and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see if we're a good fit. So I appreciate you guys and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.